Welcome back, guys, to Fire Emblem. The tactics used by the Gallian army prove effective, and like Flagare before it, Mujil falls to claw and steal. Before Benyon can react, the Lagus overwhelm the remaining border defenses and cross into the Telgum region. With both defensive keeps overrun, Telgum falls like ripe fruit at the feet of the Lagus Alliance. Inspired by their success, the Alliance takes advantage of this momentum to strike toward the very heart of the Benyon Empire. Dukes Gados and Seliora are horrified by the speed of the Lagus' advance. Banding together with the landowning nobles of the Northern Territories, they mass their armies in Seliora to oppose the Gallian assault. Using the Riban River, a tributary of the mighty Miskale, as a defensive front, the Benyan forces make their camps along its western bank in the Sestol Plains. So begins Chapter 2, Storm Clouds. An ominous name. Plague, Mujil, tell Gamma Ars. But this war has just started. The enemy's main force is in Sien, the capital. The real fight starts now. Ah, now we fight the big battle. My claws itch for Bayork flesh. Hey, Renulf, are there strong enemies in the capital? There will be plenty. Before we go, we must fight the northern nobles. Their collective army is massive. By now, I imagine the Begnian Central Army is heading our way. They're going to be our real problem. So, if we're too slow, we get caught in the middle. I don't like the sound of this. Soren, do you have a deployment plan worked out? Actually, why don't you all just relax? You might not believe it, but we have a plan this time. Send the Bay Orc, that's it. I see. An army of that size would require massive amounts of supplies to be able to, to, to sustain itself. I was just thinking. They had to nearly harvest the mountain earlier, after all, just to keep things going. Or were you talking about the Benian ones? After all, I don't think an area can support two armies like that. So the bird tribes will hit the central army supply unit and slow their advance. Exactly. The Empire fears the bird tribes. The shipless pirates, they're called. They specialize in surprise attacks and have been raiding Benyon, merchant ships, for many years. In fact, they raided us once too. After they hit the supply unit, the bird tribes will head north. We'll meet up with them after we finish off the nobles' forces. Then, when the central army arrives, we'll attack them together. Does that pretty much sum it up? I'm surprised. As Lagu's strategies go, it's not bad at all. We might even win, provided everything goes as planned. Tiban! We can't see it yet, but Begnion is close. Shouldn't you let your men take a break? Yeah. Let's land on one of those islands and get some rest. You're full of surprises, Nesala. I never expected you to join the Lagoos Alliance. I wish you could be this helpful all the time. Tiban, just stop. I'm not interested in your friendship. The Hawk tribe and the Raven tribe used to live together in Phoenicis. Our tribes were like brothers. Maybe if you fess up about some of your secrets, I might consider helping you out in the future. That doesn't really narrow it down, Tiban. Which secrets are you talking about? How about the secret of how you suddenly became first in line to succeed the throne of Kilvas? Oh, that secret. Sure, no problem. I'll tell you if we live through this war. Sound alright to you? Sounds fine to me. You know, this war is going to be vicious, but at least our tribes will grow close again. Do you actually trust me? You might live to regret it. You're trying to protect Raisin, Leanne, Raphael, and their father, King Lorizia. Isn't that so? As long as they're on our side, you won't betray us. I think that's enough rest and small talk, though. Let's go!
So basically a way of keeping the Sala under wraps. But now we see the other side. General Lavelle! How did it go? It was no use. No one would even listen to me. It makes my heart heavy. The nobles are too busy competing with one another for rewards and status to realize the danger to their lands. Rewards? Are they crazy? The subhumans are at the doors and all they care about is some reward? They only listen to each other. No one wants to listen to me. General Lavelle! How are we going to survive this? He doesn't look like such a bad guy, but you never know. Of course, it all depends on who's re- well, ruling what. Who's telling them what to do. So we have three bits of info, including the item shop here of massive importance. We have how much award experience now? A fair bit more. In fact, we have more, more, more. Right, Ileana, Heather, Brom, Neff, the main crew of Crimea here, and Har as well, the Dragon Master, who probably fits better into the army at this point in time as well, if you think about it with his levels. Right, no Jill, but Ha. Ah, of course, Jill would be back with Dane's troops. A very powerful unit has just joined us yet again. It seems to be the way things are. He is the most defensive of the units as well. We have Brom as an Axe General. We have a Lance General on top of that as well. Who do we use out the two? Of course, he can use swords on top of that. I don't know. You can only... No, you can use Axes too? And you're an S rank in Lances. So, to be honest, you might want to keep him over Brom. Who's got the speed here? Of course, their levels are a little bit different as well. I'd say... Gatry will probably still be better even with leveling up. I do not know for certain. He definitely has more HP. And more con and weight and all that. Plus his weapon levels are better, so probably want to be using him, but there we got Neff! We have Neff yet again, a bit lower level at the moment, of course, still. We have Heather on top of that, who will be useful as a thief for stealing from now on, but probably not so useful. The main things here are Har, Neff, and Heather for thieving. Ileana? So-so. I mean... That's what I'm talking about here. Just that difference makes a lot. In fact, Soren is now perfect for BXP leveling. We could ridiculously stat him up if we wish to. We can at least do a few levels. We gain free experience in other things. Maybe we just wait for the speed to cap as well, because it might do. And then we just pour it in because it's the best way to level him entirely. I, I just do not know. Oh well. We've got new guys. We've got the market back. Let's do our info first. The Free Brothers. So I told him, you know. I thought it was important. Are you sure about this? You're always exaggerating stories to make them more impressive. No, I'm deadly serious. Trust me, you'd have done exactly the same thing if you were there. Oh? I finally found you! Oscar! Boyd! It's been such a long time. Eep! How did you find us? She's in here! Let go! What are you doing here? Intruder! You're coming with me! No, please! I'm not done yet! <sighs> please let her go. She's a friend of ours. She is? You should have said something. Thank you, Oscar. Oh, that was scary. Why did you come here? They don't seem happy about it, that's for sure. Please, you have to let me see him. I do. He's here with you, right? Let me see Rolf. Uh, why should we? What? You abandoned him. You left me, Dad, and Rolf for some guy. What kind of mum does that, huh? Wow, really? 
I was different back then. I was so young, I didn't know how to raise two kids while looking after your bedridden father. Believe me, I tried. I tried, but it was too difficult. At least you and I aren't related. But Rolf, that's different. He's your son. Yours. And you left him behind because it was too hard? I'm sorry. I've regretted my decision since the day I made it. I thought of you each and every day. My father died not too long after you left him. We'd have followed him too. If my brother hadn't abandoned his knighthood in Crimea to take care of us. I... I had no idea. Oh... I've made a terrible mistake. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Leave. Now. You've got no right to see Rolf. Boyd, please. I'm begging you. I... I want Rolf to come back and live with me. Lady, you've got some serious nerve. He's our brother. You're not going to take him away from us. Just wait here. I'll go get Rolf. Oscar! Oscar, thank you! Don't get the wrong idea. I haven't suddenly forgiven you. Then why? Because you are still Rolf's mother. Nothing in the world will change that. We'll leave it up to Rolf to decide. Oscar. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to see her? Yeah, I don't even remember her face. She's just another stranger to me. Rolf. I have my family, Oscar. You, Boyd, everyone in the Grill Mercenaries. I don't need anyone else. Why should I let her try and change that? Don't look at me like that. Why do you look so sad? I'm not sad. I'll ask her to go home. Tell her never to come back. She's being a nuisance. Fine. Rolf. I... I do love you, Boyd. We fight all the time, but we're family. You're my brother. Don't make me go away. You can't! I want to stay with you. I want to stay with my family. You little idiot. Of course you can stay. We raised you, remember? You're not some... thing to give away to a crazy woman. You're one of us. Thanks. Wow. What a little uh, skit there, you could say. That's some serious business. The three brothers stick together till the end. Their blood is stronger than the blood of his mother. Or well, the mother that abandoned them, I can understand why it turned out that way. Well, with that said, what goes around comes around, I guess is what you could say, but what goes around is our next skit. So, you're Eliana? That's such a cute and delicate name. I'd never have guessed there'd be such a pretty girl around all these lagoos. What a lucky day! <sighs> is something wrong, Eliana? Are you feeling sick? You look weak. I'm so hungry. Oh no, that's no good. Hold on, I'll bring some food for you right away. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. Oh, look at that smile. So, what do you like? Something delicious. I don't particularly care what it is. I just want loads of it. Um, all right. I guess that means you eat pretty much anything. I'll go find some dupe who thinks I'm cute, and I'll con him into cooking something. You stay put! How interesting. Heather. Her name is Heather. I'll have to remember her name. She likes to feed me. You're still eating everything in sight? Ah. Hello, Ike. I haven't seen you in a long time. Glad to see you remember me. Of course. I remember all of the mercenaries. Well, most of you anyway. Oscar prepares such delicious meals. I remember that well enough. Oh, I can't wait to eat his food again. Well, I can see you haven't changed a bit. Not a bit. But Heather has found someone to feed. What a feeder she is. But still, what's three star importance, the item shop is our next destination. 
What weird skit. Oh, it's like a dream come true. My hero, standing right in front of me. Somebody pinched me. And he's more buff and manly than ever before. Amy, you'll never cope. Hey, if you don't let go of my hand, I can't pay you for anything. No, my darling, let us not spoil our time together with talk of money. Speak sweetly to me, handsome. Listen, lady, this is a shop, and I'm a customer. What's so sweet about that? Oh, such cold words. My hero plays hard to get. You're only making me more interested. Will you let go of my hand? Please. Then tell me I'm beautiful. Tell me I'm more beautiful than any woman in this camp. And then you'll let go of my hand. Of course. I'll even give you everything you want for free. Oh, all right then. No, Ike, don't say another word. Who is it? That voice. It's... Come on, Soren. She's going to give us everything. For free. Nothing in life is free, Ike. Suppose you said what she asked you to say, hmm? What then? You'd hear it all over the camp. In nearby villages. Eventually the entire country would be saying it. Ike, hero of the Mad King's War. He's in love with Amy, the shop girl. Rumors can quickly spin out of control. Come off it, you're exaggerating. Ooh, don't be so sure. With my network of merchants, I'll spread the word to the four corners of Tellius. Within half a year, everyone will know. Then you will be mine forever, Ike. You'll have no choice at all. Man, you go right for the neck, don't you? All right, Soren. She's all yours. Yes, sir. What I do now, I do for the good of the company. No, Ike! Don't go! Don't do this to me! Well, now, shall we get on with our business? You're looking more beautiful than ever, Miss Amy. A true delight for the eyes. Ooh, now you're talking, you little lady killer. I know you won't discount the goods to nothing, since it's coming from me. So, how about you cut your prices down by three quarters? Ooh, decisions, decisions. You're a diamond. Another Bay Orc only glass bees, Miss Amy. I'll buy more than enough to justify the discount. Half price, maybe. A touch less than three quarters, then. What do you say, Rose of Tellius? Oh, goddess of desire. All right, you win. Just this time, mind you. Take this. Ah, a silver card. I can buy everything for half price at all of the shops. That's right. Remember what I said, though? It's a limited time deal. I'll have to take it away soon. Got that? Understood, Miss Amy. Stay beautiful. The Lady Killer, Sovereign. I thought, first of all, he was kind of getting in the way, going, No, Ike is mine! He's my manly man crush! But no. No. He's a Lady Killer. He gets what he wants with his sweet tongue. That could be misconstrued, so let's move on. Right then, to the market we are. And we are looking for the half price of everything. Of course, first of all, you will go straight to the bargains, because you can get half price bargains. Is that really half price? You know what? I don't even know what a half price is. How do we use the silver card? Can we use it? Is it in the convoy? Right, we've got nothing in the convoy at all, despite the fact we had people bringing stuff over, but of course, any stuff they bring would be on them. And most importantly, we got most of our stuff on you, madam. So we got Paragon there as well. We got Master Seal and another Renewal. We'll move that into the party. That's fine for your stuff there. We've got another fire on you, do we? And a Spectre card, that's not so bad. Discipline on Neff. And an Ashera icon as well. And Har has something for some of our Lagoo's friends, obviously. So, lots of stuff gained there. Now it's about time to go for the market, sort out our gear, make all the stuff. We got the Forge as well, of course. So we've got the silver card in effect, of course what we're going to do with that is kind of just buy the good stuff, like the arm scroll here. But most importantly, first of all, if we're going to do that, 
we sell the blue gems. Oh, the silver card's there as well. The owner is Soren. And we can even sell that once we're done. Cool. Right, so we'll sell the blue gem times two. And now we have ourselves a battle funds, but we will buy next episode and move on to our next battle. Join me then for more Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, where much talking has happened and much interesting stuff has happened as well. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.